Hello, welcome to Selection Fish Shop, where you get everything fish farming and aquaculture. Right now, we are in a inventors shop where you get all your aquaculture inputs, ranging from aerators, you know, to getting your water pumps and so more. So as you can see at the back view here, you have a lot of um, scoop nets and uh, yes, we have uh, pH meters also, and we also have a uh, different um, oh, types of aerators here so for both uh, those of you that have been asking questions about where you get things like aerators and stuff like that you can click on the link in the description below yeah, i'll be dropping my whatsapp link and you send a dm and i can be a leverage between you and uh, these vendors that sell some of these aquaculture inputs and you can actually purchase some of these aquaculture inputs through me you don't need to worry whether you are in nigeria or you are in ghana you just need to send a DM and we can get to get across to them and get some of this product to you. As you can see over here, I have a an aerator that uh, this is the product uh, Helio. That is the product. This is a six outlet aerator, 30 watt aerator, and it comes with a six outlet. So what happens is that when you get this aerator, you get to buy your airline and your you know uh, yes. air stones so that you can have enough aeration and enough dissolved oxygen in your pond. Like I said, if you want to do tilapia farming, just like, unlike catfish farming, they don't deal with low dissolved oxygen. So you might need to get an aerator to help you increase the oxygen concentration of the water. So in case if you're needing this aerator, feel free to send a DM so that we can get across to the vendor and get these uh, aerators down to you. Over here, they also have um, solar aerators, okay? As you can see, this is a solar, a solar aerator. Okay, so and they also have a um, noiseless aerator. This is an aerator where you have to um, install in your farm and it's not going to produce much noise. Okay, we also have different, different capacity. Just like um, we have a 30 watt aerator, we also have a 60 watt aerator. As you can see, come closer. So this is a 60 watt aerator and this is a 95 watt aerator and this is a 120 watt aerator just like that so as you go you have different capacity so the the capacity of an aerator you need to get for your farm depends on the capacity of your farm for example if you have if you're having just a 10 by 10 feet pond four feet height of two you might not need to go for the bigger aerators you can get the smaller one so i can save cost for you so if you'll be needing some of this area, the distance is not the barrier. We just get across. The location is uh, Lagos, Nigeria. So we just have to get across to these vendors and it get delivered to you. Um, it's just going to take um, mini, uh, maximum three to seven working days and it will be delivered to you if you are in any region in Ghana. But if you are in Nigeria, you can get this product in the space of a day and or two. So uh, feel free to send us a TM if you'll be having. I'll be showing you more aquaculture inputs of which uh, there are a lot of farmers that don't know. Over here, this is uh, also an aerator machine. But this also is kind of, uh, it's half a ripple, it produces ripple. And it's also a form of oxygenation, okay? We also have a beautiful aquarium tank here. As you can see, this is a beautiful aquarium tank where you can get to um, use and beautify your office, your house, or you can even uh, get some of this to serve as a business. You can produce and sell. So the aquarium is a, a beautiful one. It comes with a LED light on it. And there are different scoop nets here. And we have also seam nets here also. This is a seam net. This is actually for your fry. Okay. And you can get the bigger scoop net. It's also for a uh, grow out fish. Okay. And there are a lot of um, uh, water test kits ranging from pH um, test kit, a pH meter, a temperature meter, and uh, the dissolved oxygen meter. You can get all of them here. Okay. They also have a cellular thermometer where you can install in your farm. If you are living in a region where that is temperate, that the temperature fluctuates over time, you can install a, a, a solar thermometer there so you can get to have the rhythm of your, the temperature of your farm. Like I told you, when the temperature is lower, the fish might not actually deal well with feeding. But when you are sure of the temperature, you can be also sure of the right time to feed your fish and they will pick the feed and eat well. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you other things like palletizing machine, you know, where you can, for the people that are interested in form formulating their feed, so we'll be moving over to their warehouse so I can get to get the palletizing machine and so on. They also have smaller um, pH meter. This is a pH meter. It's a small pH meter. It's a pocket pH meter. 
I have already done video on the calibration of this pH meter. So do well to check uh, other videos on our page to get uh, the video about how to use this pH meter. Okay, so we have different uh, pH test kits here. Like I said, in fish farming, using probiotics, you need to uh, check your pH. It's very important. Regular check of your pH. So you can do well to get a pH meter. If you can afford the bigger pH uh, meter, you can get those ones and so on. So you can get to get some of those uh, upper control inputs here. So if you like this video, do well to share so that other farmers can get to know about uh, this this thing. This is a, a siphoning tool. Actually, for both of you that are interested in hash rate, you don't need to stress yourself much when you have a uh, feed your fish and you need to siphon the excessive easy and simple to use. I'll be making videos on how to use some of these inputs as time goes on, where I will get to uh, acquire some of them to use them. So you do well to constantly check so that you, anytime we, you know, upload any video, you get the notification. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Steven Sport here. So we are here in your office. So we would like to um, know some of the equipment, the fish farm equipment you have over here. So let's see. So, uh, please, uh, we would like to know what is the function of this particular machine. This one is the we call it floating feeder feeder machine. Okay. Floating feeder in the sense that uh, the product when it produces out, okay. when you put it inside water, okay, it will float float on top of, of water. water. Okay. So that you see how your fish. How they are responding to the feeding. Okay. Uh -huh. That's whether that, they are eating or not. Or not Unlike the sinking feed that Unlike might the, uh, that was sink to the pond. This is the machine that produces. So and the feed will just be like all the same one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is that is the machine. Okay. okay. So this is an extruder machine yes. where you can use to produce a, a feed that can float on top of exactly. the water. So you don't need to uh, worry if you need to go into feed production, you can um Get your machines over here. Yes. Actually, um, we are in the same uh, office where they just have their warehouse where they keep the bigger equipment and the other office is where they display the smaller aquaculture equipment. Mm -hmm. yes. So, can we see some of the distance? Do you have uh, anything like a grinder? Yes. Or other things that you can uh, use to uh, yes. complement uh, this, this other this, machine? This is the grinder. Okay. It's the one that will grind the materials into powdery form. Okay. Yes. That's your feed ingredient. Yes. Just like your corn, your soybean. So yeah, GNC. Okay. Uh, uh, which of, uh, okay. rice bran. Okay. Everything. This one we grind it into powder. Yes. After grinding into powder, you put it to wet mesa. Okay. Then after wet mesa, that is where you put it into that palette. Uh, 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 floating feed yes, to that machine. Okay. So this is the grinder. Okay. That we grind into powdery form. Okay. Yes. So do we have anything like a mixer here? Yes. Maybe when we have grinded all these components and want to mix them together. Yes. Uh -huh. So yes. do we have Okay. This one, okay. you can put 200 kg on it per, per batch. Within okay. 10 minutes. Okay. You discharge it. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, within yes. 10 minutes. This. So that you, that this particular uh, equipment can take 200 kg of uh, feed ingredients. Of, uh, after grinding. After powder. grinding. Okay. The powder form, form of the ingredients. Yes. Then. It it, mix it. Okay. This is actually where you put all the components and it's going to miss. And yes. you say after like how many minutes? 10 minutes. You 10 minutes. It. You discharge everything yes. through this outlet. Yes. So this is actually a mixer. You don't need to do all those shoving, missing. Yeah, no, and no, no. what, what, one advantage of using a mixer is that when you get, use a mixer, you have an even mixing. Yes. Yeah. All the components and all the feed ingredients are going to be evenly mixed in this particular and machine. It will mix when it comes out, it will be in a hot form. It will wow. be warm. Okay. It will be warm. Yes. Yeah. It's already giving yes. them the binding power. Exactly. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, please, I want to ask a question. Um, more than this, uh, uh, this particular machine, uh, that, a student machine, a student machine okay. that produces floating feed. Yes. Maybe someone that don't have the money to purchase this machine, is there an alternative? Yes. Okay. A pellet, pellet machine. Okay. We call it pelletizer machine. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. These are the pelleting machines. Okay. 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 These mm. are the pelleting machines. Yes. So you can, these we are, have, we have the electric type of it. We have the diesel type of it. Okay. So this, uh, various capacities. Oh, beautiful. Very cheap of kg power. One ton power. Beautiful. So what he's trying to say is that they have the electric palletizing machine and they have the diesel palletizing machine. And this palletizing machine comes in different capacity. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. He actually said that he have from 100 mm -hmm. kg capacity to up a 1000, uh, a 1000 kg mm -hmm. capacity, which is equivalent to one ton. Yeah. So please uh, feel free to um, ask all your question and the prices and I'll get across to him. He's actually my vendor. I will be getting some of this farm impute from his store. He owns this place. Um, as you can see, it's a big yeah. place and uh, you can get a variety of products. So whether you are in Ghana or you are in Nigeria or you are in 
Uganda or you are in Syria alone, any part of African country, the distance is not a barrier. We can uh, get across to you, check the logistics cost and tell you the price and then, then we deliver to you. Thank you. And apart from those aquaculture, you show them there. Okay. And apart from this machine, you have other, other things. things. So uh, let's come. Most for sure. Of, oh, this is about balls. Okay. Uh, these things are also, yeah, these are for, um, RAS, recirculatory aquaculture exactly. system. So these things are biomedias yes. where you can put in your biological chambers. These things are also serves like, uh, when I talk about probiotics, we fishman, where we use the sand. So in the RAS system, these are the media that the uh, bacteria, the useful bacteria are going to attach themselves to. So you can get to get some of these things here. These are and, bags. Okay. These yeah. are bags of uh, biomedia. <laughs> and apart from the normal uh, area, they have air blowers. air blowers as you can yes. see these are big form of aerators this air uh, this air blowers can take big capacity farm even if you have a farm that can uh, uh, that produces up to 10 tons of fish weekly monthly you can get a capacity of air blower that can serve that particular facility here because they have um, air blowers ranging from 750 watts 600 watts 1 horsepower 2 horsepower 3 horsepower, three horsepower. and so on so kindly send us a dm any aquaculture input that you want we get across to them and uh you get delivered to you so and um, sir sorry is this also an appointment what is this uh, this is a table appointment okay beautiful this, oh, table this is another form of aquarium i'm just seeing this for the first time and it's also beautiful this is a table aquarium Actually, this aquarium can uh, serve you in your office. Exactly. You can decide to use this to send a gift to somebody. In fact, I personally am planning to gift one of my brother <laughs> one of these aquarium tanks. So I'll be doing that sooner. So you this thing. Sorry, what is this? What is this? Is it a hash rate vat or just no, a no, container? No, it's not hash rate. Okay, it's something that is inside. Okay, okay, something. Inside. Okay, just used to hold something. Sure. Are there other things you wish to show us? Yes, all these uh, water sifting materials. Okay, all these uh. Ceramic ring, okay. carbon, okay. zoom light. So what is this? This is a ceramic ring. Oh, these are ceramic rings. What is it used for? It's for treatment of water. Water treatment. For right pH. Okay. Water is it supposed to increase or reduce pH? It, 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 it boosts pH. The pH. Okay. Yes. If it's acidic, it yes. can take it up. Exactly. Especially for both of you that are into hash rate, that are living in areas where your pH is acidic, you can get to boost them with these ceramic rings yes. okay it's going to boost the ph it has the same work with uh calcium bicarbonate okay yeah, exactly. so you can also yeah. use it also yeah. so boost your ph yeah. in fact there are many aquaculture imputes we cannot mention all of them here yeah? so just feel free anything you need or any problem you are facing you tell us if there's something you need to purchase from this shop we are, we are not in the k1 media I'm part of this uh, Okay, this is for biomedia. Okay. Yeah, bio oh, this is also uh, another biomedia. This is also another biomedia. Okay, for rice system. Um, for rice system, you can get. They also have. Um, what is, I saw this mat, this filtration mat. Okay, uh, the Balis mat. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, for filtration also. So you can get all those things and uh, and many more. Is this an open? Yes. Can we see that open? Yes, people are interested. So come. We have of fish. We have of fish. So this, this one is for fish. Okay. Yeah. This is actually a fish oven. Yes. Or uh, let me basically this is a is this is this foreign made? Yes. This is a foreign smoking kin. We don't call it a fish, we don't call it an oven in aquaculture. The reason being that the difference between an oven and a smoking kin is that an oven, uh, a smoking king have, have an insulator, it's laden with an insulator. You find out that you can get to charge this place with it and you might not actually feel enough heat exactly. also. And they, it makes it possible for your fish to smoke at a temperature and they will dry well. So this, um, this is a fish oven, it's actually a beautiful one. Um, please, what is it operated with? Is it uh, gas, charcoal, or we light? We have charcoal, we have electric fire. But this particular one, what is it? Charcoal. Okay, this is charcoal operated. Mm -hmm. And already, already from the design of this smoking kit, I have been fabricating local smoking kit. But from the design, what I'm seeing here, it means that you can get to smoke your fish without stress. When you process your fish and load them into these trays, you can easily lock it up and you don't have any fear of burn. Uh -huh, because the heat are going to come by the side gradually and, you know, saturate the, um, you know, whole oven. So this is actually a beautiful one. I like this oven specifically. Wow. This is a beautiful one. Can we see the, the down oh, okay. So that is where you start the charcoal. Yeah, this is... Um, okay. 
So this is where you um put your charcoal and this should <laughs> dust. Okay. okay. The dust of the Going charcoal down. we dropped here. So yes. you put your um charcoal here mm -hmm. and it will circulate uh, and down. There's the a fan. This one is power the fan that okay. will be lighting. Okay, that will charcoal. be charging the charcoal. Yes. Wow. Okay, this is it. Uh, you are going, you are going to connect this to electric exactly. source. Yes, yes. Uh, does this have a thermometer or something? Uh, okay, a thermometer. Yeah. Oh wow, this is built.